We have seen in another video on homeostasis how important it is for the human body to control the level of glucose in the blood. This is achieved through two hormones, both released by the pancreas, that each have an effect on the liver. Insulin causes the liver to turn glucose into glycogen and store it, reducing the amount of glucose in the blood. Glucagon causes the liver to turn the glycogen back into glucose and release it, increasing the amount of glucose in the blood. Through these two hormones, blood sugar levels are kept constant, which is an example of homeostasis. Diabetics are not able to control their blood sugar levels using insulin in this way. There are two types of diabetes, and we will look at the causes of each of these, and also how diabetics are able to control their blood sugar levels in order to stay healthy. Type 1 diabetes is caused by the body not producing insulin. This may be because the gene that codes for insulin is damaged. Because the pancreas is not producing any insulin when blood sugar levels rise, the liver does not react and blood sugar levels remain high. Type 1 diabetics can control their blood sugar by testing their blood regularly and when needed injecting insulin into the layer of fat beneath their skin. This is known as subcutaneous fat. The insulin is absorbed into the blood where it travels to the liver and causes it to turn glucose into glycogen and store it. Type 2 diabetes is where the pancreas produces insulin in response to high glucose levels but the liver does not react to the insulin. Therefore, the blood glucose levels remain high. Injecting insulin in the way that a type 1 diabetic does would have no effect here as the problem is not producing insulin but the liver not being responsive to it. Therefore, type 2 diabetics need different strategies to control their blood sugar levels. They do this through careful diet and exercise plans. Exercise lowers blood sugar levels as the glucose is taken in by the muscle cells for respiration. Changes in diet prevent blood sugar levels rising too quickly. Type 2 diabetes has become more common in the UK over the past few decades. This is because the average amount of exercise being done is decreasing and the average diet contains more sugar than previously. These two factors can lead to obesity and type 2 diabetes. Diabetes then is where the body is not able to control blood glucose levels normally. Type 1 diabetics do not produce insulin. This form of diabetes can be treated by injecting insulin into the fat underneath the skin. Type 2 diabetes is where the pancreas releases insulin, but the liver is not responding to it. Type 2 diabetes is increasing in the UK due to more people having poor quality, high sugar diets and doing less exercise. Type 2 diabetes is managed through exercise and diet.